All right, so let's start. Uh, we're gonna start with our local installation setup. I think it's the easiest one. And uh, this example, what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna run it on Mac or Linux. So if you're on Windows, I'm sorry for you. Uh, you, you might, I might have to put up another video on, to show you how to do it on Windows. So for this one, uh, we're gonna use this version of Toolkit NiFi and the registry. It's 1.116.1, the latest as of uh, today. So if you haven't done yet, make sure that you go and clone this repo on your local. So basically, uh, if you don't know how, you just copy this uh, URL and you just type git clone after you have git uh, installate, install. So I'm just going to do another git clone for you guys. So git clone because I got everything there. So uh, where is it? Patch and I uh, just copy this URI and tool. For whatever reason is there is a zero there. Hmm. Never mind. All right. So what do you want to do? You want to go to chapter seven and locally install. In this locally install, there are um first we have the the setup local script uh where you can choose to change the version of your um of your NiFi toolkit and NiFi um uh bundle installation uh we set up some variables here so let me just go in with this i'm just gonna walk you guys really quick over the script so here you choose your ports uh i start with 81 because by default jenkins will be installed on uh 8080 and i don't want to touch that and then we go and download uh locally inside opt we download the the, the software the bundles uh and then here uh, pretty much this commands they're doing the same i'm unzipping i'm moving i'm create i'm unzipping into this new location um and then uh, i'm moving um when you unzip unfortunately you cannot get rid of the first layer so i have to go through this i'm moving everything from the first layer down and then i'm removing ultimately we'll end up with a with a clean folder structure uh, there's a property replace function that will pretty much allow us to change uh, properties inside our configuration file. Uh, here I'm creating uh, copies for each environment. So we have NIFA production, staging, and dev, and then registry. And uh, I'm making copies of these client properties inside, a new, inside the NIFA toolkit configuration folder. And then we're using the property place here, change the value of the base URL. And then since we're having it on localhost, everything is gonna run on localhost. After that, we start the NIFI registry. We make some changes to the NIFI properties because uh, we, in this case, we're gonna run it in a unsafe mode. So it's gonna be on HTTP. We have to disable some properties. Otherwise, in this latest version, you're gonna, you're gonna get some failure. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just to not overcomplicate the setup. Uh, by default you will have a key and a user and password but we're not going to go through that so we're going to disable that for prod for staging and for dev and that after that i put a wrapper script here to start the services um and as a note here when once the services are up and running um we're going to create a um registry client attached to it so basically the registry is up and running uh and then we're gonna you can do this manually but but to do it programmatically so that is our setup for uh, nifi registry uh, toolkit and nifi installation and then we have jenkins so we're going to use brew for this um let me just make this bigger for you put the commands here when you're gonna um <clears throat> all right so yeah sorry copy the wrong command okay so in my case, since I'm running on a Mac M1, I uh, bitch is about uh, the ARM version. All right, so cool. Now, uh, what we want to do, we want to start the service. Okay. Um, matter of fact, I've had this in the past. 
So let's restart the service and see how it's going. Okay, so if we're gonna do um, two services list now, yeah, we should have it. Uh, I I can't explain that. Uh, a restart will do the work. So right now, let's open a browser and let's go to our local host eighty eighty, and this should be uh, allowing us to see the service getting ready to work. So next, we're going to go to the step of setting this up. So first, you want to copy the password that comes embedded in this in this uh, location. So we're going to run a cat on it. Uh, oh, OK, sudo. All right, I'm going to copy this value and paste it in admin password. So that's a one time admin. password. We're not going to update. With this option, we're gonna go for install suggested plugins. What I'll do here, I'll pause and wait for this to complete, and then we'll continue from there. As a matter of fact, in the meantime, uh, all this happens. Let's go back to our script and actually set up our local, where basically we're gonna set up all the NiFi installations. So if you're gonna go to uh, if we're going to go to our OPT folder, you can see I have already downloaded the, uh, uh, let's say, the uh, <clears throat> the required software. So this is the command here. What I'll do next, I'll sudo su because um, um, he's going to ask me for privilege access to my machine. I'll set up the variables and then I'll bypass this. I'm going to run the build up. Um, of the folders for toolkit, NiFi, and NiFi registry. Basically, you can run that in one. That will go through the options, and um, I'll show you guys how that looks at the end. So now, right now, he's in staging. Just one can be more um, viewable. Cool. So now if you jump back in OPT, we can see, I'm oh, sorry. We can see that we have all of this created. There we got NiFi production, NiFi staging, NiFi dev, toolkit, and registry. So at this point, uh, what we want to do, we want to run this, uh, we want to create this function in our session. Basically, this is going to help us to ch um, edit properties inside the files and we're going to create one directory here so first we're going to touch the toolkit we're going to create environment configuration files for all our environment basically go there if we're going to go to to actually uh, to the folder and you guys should see how it looks all right so this is how they look and the reason i'm creating them is because jenkins is going to interact through this configuration file with our NiFi instances and our NiFi registry. Now we using the actually let's let's show you guys how it looks basically. It's an empty configure default configuration file. The only value we're gonna change is base URL. So if we're gonna run this guy, let's run it for all. Alright, so if we're gonna do another cat on NiFi. Uh, you can see right now we added the base URL. So that's all we pretty much need to do. Next thing, what we want to do, uh, we want to start our NiFi registry. So this is going to start at the port that uh, we have here. Uh, so this is the default port. We haven't changed that in the configuration. We just change it in the registry uh, toolkit config. So if we go back to our uh, browser, and we do a local host and let me this should be up and running and if you see right now we don't have anything created it's just an empty registry cool so the registry is pretty much done now let's run the configuration for the nifi so basically we set the http port and we disable the https in this case because we wanted to run it on a non-secure to do that, uh, we set the secure to false and the key store, we pretty much blank out these properties. And another thing I do just for the, for the ease of recognize, recognizing the instances, uh, we change the banner. 
So in this case, it's going to be production banner. So if we'll, if I'll do this, and I'll just show you guys really quick. I'm, I'm going to run all the commands, actually. These properties will change in each individual files that we have. Now let's, let's start it. Starting Nifire will take a bit of time. Uh, when I say a bit of time, I'm just talking about a couple of minutes max. We go to OPT Nifi and hit Nifi PID. Now let's go to the configuration. Configuration and uh, look at the Nifi properties. And let's look for banner, for example. Because this is this validates our change. So yeah, we can see that the banner was changed to PRD. So what banner means in the middle of a canvas, you can have a name pretty much and also changes the the description in the logo of the page so if you're gonna go to local host and uh, our nifi installation for production remember based on four was 8081 so it's still up it's still uh trying to bring them up so actually if we go here and type port um and look for a new port we can see that it's 8081 but if we're gonna go to the logs, so go back one and then go to, oh, sorry, go back one level and then go to logs folder. Uh, and we're gonna run a tail on our NIFI application log. Uh, yep, so if the controller uh, started successfully, um, it tells us pretty much that, yep, the UI will shortly be available. So if you click on this one, uh, we can see that NIFI, it's up and running. And this is what I'm talking about, this uh, PRD attached to it. And also you can see it here. If I'll copy this link and I'm going to go and uh, check the staging instance, which is on port 8082, uh, I should get the same. But this time, instead of being PRD staging. So this is going to be easy for us to identify them uh, while we're going to go through our captors in developing NIFI. Cool. So now we have registry. We got all our three instances of NIFI up and running. Let's check the wizard. All right, so the wizard already advanced. Um, so right now what he's asking us is to set up a password for our initial user admin. So I'm going to make it easy. It's going to be admin admin. My full name is going to be admin at admin.com. Um, save and continue. This is going to be my default URI. And now let's start using Jenkins. Cool. So once we're here, this is pretty much how it looks. If you want to go in, uh, let's say, install a new plugin, you want to go to manage Jenkins and then manage plugins. And here you have all the available and installed plugins. Just to review what we did, we went through this local installation setup where we installed a NiFi registry, we installed three instances of NiFi, 